Robinson County 911, what's the address of your emergency? Hi, um, are you able to trace the location of my phone? Um, let me see. You don't know where you're at? And National Park. What's the phone number you're calling me from? 843-655-5242. Um... Where's the park located at? In Fair Bluff. Let's see. I have my location on, I think, on my phone. Find my phone is on. I just did my Sherla, my location. Okay, I'm showing, um, hold on one second. I don't think you are in Robinson County. Are you at Lumber, the Lumber River State Park? In yeah, that's where I am. Okay. Tell me what's um happened. Um, I'm about to kill myself, and I just want my family to know where to find me. Okay, ma'am. Just listen to what I'm saying, okay? Let me make sure I got the exact location where you're at, okay? Just one minute. Talking, dude. Check out what I caught, dude. There was definitely somebody there, and it's probably the best evidence of me enhancing and and clearing out all the background noise than anybody else has tried to do. It's shocking. Now I did a voice analysis. It's not JP's voice for sure. We need the lawyer's voice. We need the J. We need JP's son's voice. Any man that's connected to him, we need to compare this voice to their voice. But I don't know people's names and find them on YouTube if they're talking or not. But check this out. Tell me what's um happened. Um I'm about to myself and I just want my family to know where to find me. Okay, ma'am. Just listen to what I'm saying, okay? Let me make sure I got the exact location where you're at, okay? Just one minute.
when I came back out of the out of the opening where I found uh, Michael's belongings at, I happened to look and I didn't see the kayaker. I said, I wonder, wonder where the kayaker went to. So, I mean, let me tell y'all, he was not involved in this neither. So I said, I wonder where the kayaker got to. But anyway, I found out later that um, he had left out of the slough and went back into the river. He told me that he, he got back in the river because he wasn't catching fish into the slough. So he decided to go to the river and try to catch some fish out of the river. So for some reason, he said he started hearing he must have heard the laws coming up or something. I don't know. But he turned around. He told me that he went there and backtracked to where I was at. I said, but you're kidding. And he told me, he said, Johnny, he said, you passed right by her. I said, buddy, you've got to be kidding me. He said, yeah. He said, you passed right by her. He said, but there's no way you could have seen her. He said, he, he, he told me, he explained it to me. He said, you know how you take a, you see a bag that's floating in the water and it might get a little bit of air in it. And then, then you'll see a little portion, a little portion of the bag sticking up out of the water floating. I said, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. You don't ever know what's underneath it. So I see, I, I, I understand what you were saying. He said, but you, you couldn't have seen it. I said, no, I couldn't have seen it because when I was coming out of there, I was looking straight ahead. I wasn't even looking in the water. And I'll tell you why come I weren't looking in the water. But anyway, I was just ready to get out of there. So I come out of there. But anyway, he said, well, that's what I seen. He said, I seen it like a bag, the top of a bag floating in the water. He said, but what had happened was her body was laid up against uh, a tree or something or something in the water that had her stopped. And then there was a floating log, a piece of floating debris that was pushed up against her also. He said he still didn't realize what it was. He took his boat, moved up his kayak, and moved up a little bit. His boat hit that log. The log hit her body, and her foot came up out of the water. And he said, oh, my God. He said that's when he realized that it was her. And that's how he pointed it. The laws must have, if I'm not mistaken, Lord, forgive me if I'm mistaken. But he, um, I believe he told me that the laws was already there, and he told the laws here she is right here mm. this is her this is her body right here I hope, you, I hope y'all can understand that why haven't we heard or seen from the kayaker other than his 911 call and the fisherman's account 